Right, hello guys, and you're watching Go Doctor Who. This time we're doing the collection box ads. Woo! I'm going to tell you about my experience collecting them, and it is a hard experience because I started in April, the beginning of April. So I didn't own any classic box sets in um, in April, and then they released the blue uh, the Blu-ray non-limited edition version, and I thought I could catch up here. And then I started collecting them all on eBay, and then I realised, actually, I don't need them anymore. So I now have the Blu-rays coming on its way from HMV, but I also have Series 12 again anyway. And I'm going to try and get Series 19, and screw collecting the Blu-rays, I'm going to collect the limited editions now. Now uh, I have one, two, three, four, seven. I should have counted before starting the video. I have seven limit, uh, limited edition classic box sets. Now that's amazing. Seems I only had zero at the start of April. Literally, I had none at all. And then they announced uh, the uh, Blu-rays. And I thought I could collect the Blu-rays uh, for the ones I've missed. And then I could catch up with the limited editions. And I thought, actually, I just really want the limited edition. Now I'm, I'm now and I thought, let's just order a few of them. And then I started going and going and going and I started getting there. So I've written down how much it's cost me to get the per box set. I'm going to talk about the box sets and I'm going to tell you how I managed to catch up. If you're one of the, the people that sadly didn't catch up, because blimey, my bank account's hit some hit, hit its worst low. I've never been poorer collecting these bastards. But, you know, anyway, without further ado, let's get on to it. So I've written down how much it, it's cost me per uh, per box set. And I got all these from eBay. I looked in C CEX. I looked in HMV, and um, stuff like this. And they've sold out. They don't have them. They're extreme prices. And the eBay is extreme prices. Amazon is extreme prices. Once you've missed these box sets, they are gone. However, um, basically, eBay bidding is the only way you're going to get these. Really for a cheaper price. I got this box set. Series 14 was my first box set. I've written it in the order I bought them. So this is my first box set that arrived. And um, £55 and 20p. Now I've added it all together and I've added how much post and package cost as well. So um, yeah, Series 14, £55 and 20p. Pretty decent price, you know. This is a real, this is the, probably the cheapest no, it's not. It's not the cheapest box set I've got. But yeah, this is uh, a really decent price, seems. The box sets normally cost £45. So yeah. Woo. Um, then we move on to uh, Series 8. That cost, this is the cheapest box set. £51.20p plus post and package. Well, it weren't plus post and package, but I've done some calculating before I started the video to make sure it's plus post and package, if you get what I mean. So Series 8. I'm very happy with this. However, however, just one little thing. Just going to say, the delivery did not work that well. It is it is not in its best condition, even though it was in its, its silver wrapping. So obviously it come, but uh, it's not the eBay's problem. It's not the seller's problem. It was the actual company, I guess, with the way it turned out. But yeah, um, I'm happy with it. I'll get some glue and I'll stick it later at some point uh this is where we start getting a bit expensive now series 26 where are you at the last classic series um this one was 71 pound and 20p oh you're you're expensive you are yeah that was that one um that one i was like that's a lot in it but that was that it gets it gets more i've paid more um that was me bidding. Um, now we go up a pound. Season 26, we go to £72.20p. Um, yes, this one is the one that was not as expensive as it gets, because it gets really expensive after this point. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you how much I spent overall at the end of the video, by the way. And, oh my God, I didn't realise I spent that much. Um, now we're in the hundreds column series. Ooh, this is a, this is a little, little 
oh, this one's a robbing out your bank. This is if you're, you're lucky to try and get one of these cheaper than under what I got it for. £101.22p for a box set. The most expensive box set I've ever... No, it isn't. It isn't the most expensive box set I've ever bought because it gets worse. But this, I was just like, oh, I spent a lot of money on you. You better be worth it. But the third doctor is my favourite doctor and I have to try and get them all now. So yes, I'm like Thanos collecting the Thinity Stones. I one day will have every single classic box set with a snap of my fingers. And then I'll have a smile on my face. <laughs> Um, next up we have series 18, where the hell are you at? Oh yes, it's quite thicker, they're different sizes, which is something to look at. Um, season 18, what did I get it for? A hundred pound! Cheaper option, buy a pound less, but it's a hundred pound, and it came free post and package. You better be at that price, but I'll say that, it weren't for the others, but you know, still, hundred pound, hundred pound for Tom Baker. Yes, I only bought this. I do believe because it has. No, it doesn't. He didn't even have it actually. Feral Sarah Jane. Does it have Feral Sarah Jane on? I don't know actually. It probably does. That's probably why I bought it so quickly. I nabbed it up. It might be series fourteen that has Feral. Yeah, it does. Because Tom. Because Sarah wasn't even in series eighteen. Please, I'm a I'm a true fan. I'm not a fake fan. I promise. I mean, I better not be with paying this much out. And uh, series eighteen was a hundred pound. Uh. Yeah, that was so. The expensive is the most expensive box set was actually series ten. I didn't realize that. So one hundred and one pound and twenty two p. The most expensive box set I've ever bought in my life. Wow. Uh, and that's it. I was like, right. I have series twelve and series nineteen on its way. They're just gonna be Blu rays, and they're sadly never gonna have the complete collection of the limited editions. And I was like, screw it. Let's just buy it anyway. So I got this for sixty four pound and forty eight p for post and package as well and this is the last box set i've bought recently so seven classic box sets um for a person who didn't have any at the start of the month i'm gonna say i did pretty well however the jorick the jorick the juristic forget it forget what i was gonna say now the, the the main thing is how much did all this come to total total amount of 51 uh 51 pound and 20p being the, sh the least expensive to 101 pound and 22p being the most expensive how much did all the seven box sets cost all together okay here we go 515 pound and 50p half a million pound basically isn't it really i mean i'm still doing gcse maths so i'm terrible at maths but you know 515 pound and 50p for this lot. For you lot. Oh my god. Um, so I did really pay the price of um basically um you know. Uh then if we're gonna add my series 12 Blu-ray that's coming and my series 19 Blu-ray that's coming from HMV, because I'm struggling to cancel that order, so I kinda have to have it and maybe maybe I'm gonna do a video on comparing. I think I'm gonna. I'm going to compare Series 12 Blu-ray box set between the Series 12 limited edition box set and show you the difference and stuff like that. Also, I never mentioned this Series 12 box set, because we're talking about the box sets, is very rare indeed, actually. It is um, the the version that has the te uh, the, the Series 10 pa uh, thing on, but it has got Series 12 uh, DVD stuff in it, you know, the content series 12, it's just the artwork of the discs is series 10, so I have a limited edition box set, which is, ooh, it's, uh, you, hopefully you give me some money in the future. Um, yeah, if we're including the HMV ones that I bought as well, £595.48p. So that's how much I've spent this month on all these box sets. I would say I'm after series 19, but I simply can't afford it at this moment in time. Otherwise, it would be in the video and I would have waited and, to say I have all them. Wahaha. But no, uh, I've also paid for uh, series 24 that's coming out and that's going to be coming out next month. So I do a review on my thoughts on that next month. But yeah, that's my thoughts, guys, on the limited edition box sets, really. Um, they're £45 normally. So someone do the comments down below because I'm terrible at maths and my calculator's all the way over there. 
and I would use my phone, but my phone's been the one that's recording this video, so I can't can't calculate um how much uh forty five pound times seven. Uh, do that in the comments down below, and that's how much I should have paid for all these box sets. But instead, I forked it out. I was too late to the journey, and I did five hundred and fifteen pound and fifty p basically altogether. But because I bought the HMV ones as well, I'm going to put in the thumbnail. Basically, I paid six hundred pounds to catch up on the limited edition box sets, just to just to get the views. You know, yeah. Because I technically did, you know, five hundred and ninety five pound and forty eight p. I mean, come on. We're basically at 600 in a way, you know, we're four pounds something off that. So, yeah, um, interesting. I probably will sell the uh, the Blu-rays when they arrive after I've done a video on comparing the between the two, just because I don't need them because I'm after the limited editions now. I will get Series 19 in limited edition form one day just because... I've got the whole collection. Why would I just have one as a normal Blu-ray? It wouldn't make sense and it wouldn't look as good on my shelf. But I will be comparing that in another video. So, yeah, that's my thoughts and opinions, guys, on all of these. Hold on. I'm going to get them all in shot for the last final scene. Come on, son. There we go. That should be the thumbnail, shouldn't it? My beauties. Um, yeah. So, I've spent, like, £500 on these. I'm poor now. I literally am. I only have 2p in my bank. I'm not even joking. So you try and rob me. You're only getting 2p. But yeah, I get paid soon. So hopefully I should get Series 19. But yeah, that's my thoughts and opinions, guys, on all the... Oh, sugar. Now we're... now they're not lit now. I broke the box set. I'm going to end the video because everything's falling. But subscribe to the channel because we're trying to get to the channel goal of 500 subscribers. Please don't be dented because you're going to be... Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and uh, comment down below what you've got these. Will you catch up? Are you missing any? Let me know how frustrated you are about eBay sellers. Are you dented? No, you're good. Right, okay. Um, yeah, um, let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. So we're trying to get to 500 subscribers because I paid £500 for this. Over £500. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys in another video though soon. Have a nice day.